As we all know, Diamond Tea is going through a transformation from being a hardware company to a software focused company. Diamond Tea is announcing the launch of a standalone software version of Diamond Tea Ultima as a Kubernetes data plane solution for on premises and public cloud environments. To talk about this release in detail, we have with us Brian Weldon, VP of product at Diamond Tea. Brian, it's great to have you on the show. Welcome. Yeah, thanks a lot. It's great to be here. Let's jump right into the announcement. Tell me more about what are you announcing today? Um, yeah, yeah, we're really excited today to announce a general availability here um, of a, a software-only uh, data plane. Um, and, and we think it's a really important aspect of you know, cloud-native infrastructure and Kubernetes these days that you know, many people tend to overlook. So you know, Diamante is putting a pure software offering out on the market today um, uh, in addition to the existing you know, hardware-based and hardware-accelerated offering already out um, in many production environments. Can you talk about some of the core features and functionalities of Diamond Ultima that you are bringing to the users? For sure, yeah. Um, so, so it's a, a true um, full data plane solution. Um, we address both the storage and the networking needs um, of a cloud native infrastructure. Um, what that really comes down to, um, like to, to, to really distill it down, this is where do your volumes come from, um, your, your virtual block devices, and where do your virtual network interfaces come from? Um, now, th these are low-level building blocks that you need to be able to run your applications um, using Kubernetes. Um, so these are actual uh, consumable resources that are provided um, by our data plane. Um, I, I think that even more importantly is how we're doing all of this and, and I guess where um, this software can be operated. Um, it's a, a literal software data plane, which means it can run in a variety of different locations, whether that's in the cloud uh, or it's in a, a bare metal infrastructure on uh, a customer owned um, in a customer owned data center. Diamante is going through its own transformation. How does this announcement accelerate Diamante's evolution to a software focused company? Yeah, so, so that transformation for us has really been um, from our, our initial DNA as a, a true hardware company. Um, and we think we, we started with the hard thing, which is building our own hardware. Um, Diamante started with a major focus on hardware offload and acceleration technology. That's really been the key to our success um, as a business, but also the key technically um, to the success of our platform. So as we've um, been developing our capabilities behind the scenes that have been traditionally accelerated with that offload technology, um, we've been able to build a more flexible platform that can now come off of that offload um, architecture and into pure software. Um, so all of the features that we provide in our offload-based um, uh, data plane today are actually also available as software-based features. If you look at cloud native or Kubernetes, it's a very crowded space. There are a lot of similar solutions which are already available there. So how does this product differentiate DMNT from other players in this space? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, this is definitely a busy space. I won't argue with that. Um, we, we look out at the field of other options out on the market, and we, we also get a lot of feedback from our customers here. Um, uh, the majority of Diamante customers have ended up on our platform because they've tried to pull existing point solutions off the shelf and cobble them together into something resembling a production environment. Typically, day one goes okay, and the initial design phases go okay, um, but then day two and further their operationalization and uh, expansion of their platforms just is, really does not pan out. Um, so from Diamante's perspective, um, to, to put it really simply, having a fully baked holistic platform to come in and address those data center modernization needs, the digital transformation needs, the, the simple move from you know, legacy infrastructure and legacy architecture onto cloud native, um, specifically containers, Kubernetes, microservices. So our platform is really uh, a, a full stack solution, if you will, um, to the full suite of problems um, that, that our, you know, our customers are facing today. Um, in, in addition to that uh, simplified approach of providing a holistic platform, um, our data plane specifically is key here. Um, you know, it papers over all of the, the intricacies um, and uh, we'll say inadequacies in a lot of the existing provider specific um, or point solutions uh, platforms uh, on the market today. 
Um, so it means a customer can have a consistent experience um, from a data plane perspective, whether they're operating in AWS or they're operating on a hypervisor uh, on-premises, and they can actually span all of that infrastructure together um, to provide fault tolerance and data level resilience um, for, their, um, for their enterprise. Yes, you're right. It is a busy space, but a lot of consolidation is happening. A lot of acquisitions and mergers are happening. Boardworks, Cast, and they're a good example. What does this consolidation mean for DMNT and specifically this announcement? I can't quite tell you what it means for us necessarily. Um, you know, I, I wish I had a crystal ball there. Um, but you know, the way that I interpret this um, is we're, we're going through this big wave of innovation um, in this specific space. Like th this, this continually happens. We're always going through these cycles. So with these specific like, recent acquisitions, what I'm, what I'm thinking are you know, the bigger players are looking to build out broader sets of functionality um, and to bring in truly cloud native features um, and capabilities into their existing incumbent platforms. Um, so when you look at Pure and Portworks, for example, um, I don't claim to have any you know, special knowledge of either of these players, but when you just look at them on paper, I see Pure has physical capabilities, Portworks has software capabilities, and they both are making moves uh, with Kubernetes into the cloud. So I, I see that as more of a consolidation and a platform expansion play um, for, for those parties involved. Brand. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule today and talk to me about this announcement. And I look forward to talk to you again. Thank you.